the day has finally come where I have my last, final, that's it, we're done, end of this road, home inspection for my foster to adopt process. So this episode is all the way from last night until this morning, until the home inspection, and a little bit after the home inspection because I know I'm gonna have a ton of feelings afterward that I wanna share with you guys. My goodness, I have to interrupt things here. Listen, I just finished my home study. You guys watch this and make sure you watch till the end of the video because I have some amazing news for you guys. Listen, it was completely unexpected and it's heavily about this entire foster process. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to, oh, so much goodness. I can't wait for you to share it, to share this with you. Let's get started. have been following this journey you know that I started way at the beginning with oh, I'm going to adopt a baby privately and then things changed and it moved into fostering and if you've watched my past videos you have seen this roller coaster there's been so much that I've learned and so many awesome people that I've met along this process and today we are finally at the end like the end of this chapter where I have my home inspection and then I have a 10 day waiting period and then I'm approved and well, I could be placed with a child as soon as early December. So that's literally 10 days away. It's pretty, pretty amazing. If you like this channel, if you enjoy the fact that I am bringing light to the fact that there is a lack of representation between um, LGBTQ people and single men and single gay men specifically in the fostering or adopting space. If you like that, please do me a favor and hit that like button, hit the subscribe icon and the bell icon because those are some simple ways that you can help this channel grow. The interview that I talked to you guys about earlier this week, that is gonna be out tomorrow on Friday. The blog is called milokids.com. I'll make sure that I put the link in this description for the blog. There's a really cool story behind why they got started and all of that I'll explain in the video tomorrow. So make sure that you subscribe and you hit the bell icon so you know the details about this interview because I go in depth about my background. I talk about some of the struggles between some people's opinions about me adopting and why I got went down this journey. So now without further ado, let's go all the way back to last night and start this journey. Ooh, I just had to go pick up a ton of food. I also stopped by CVS, I had to pick some things up, but the night before my final home inspection, I'm excited. I don't know, I'm not nervous. I'm just like, honestly, the only thing that I have the most nerves about is I hope that I purchased enough food because they want you to have seven days of perishable items and like three days of normal food and like legit, I hope this is enough food. <laughs> Guys, I'm one person about to be two people, I guess now. Oh my God, how am I gonna put this on? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone down. grocery shopping but I'm considering this 
practice. Oh, this is so much food. Okay. We did it. We did it. <sighs> At least we got the food. Yeah. Oh, okay, now I gotta put it all away. <laughs> Over here I have a sheet of paper that is three pages, front and back, of all these qualifications that I need to take care of before the home inspection. Which it says over here that, wait, where is it at? Oh my gosh, I know I saw that I have to have like seven days worth of food. Yes, there must be enough food in the home at all times. A minimum of seven days, non-perishable. And three days of fresh fruit. Fresh food. So like fruits and spinach and like. Look at it all. Ah! Food the Lord. Okay, let me put this away. We did it! Finally. I literally feel like I have enough food to last me a lifetime. I never, ever, ever shop for this many groceries, but basically that should be like between all the pasta and these little canned good things and the pasta sauce and the mac and cheese and all of the rice, like literally millions of days worth of rice and more pasta. Like, I think I've got seven days. I hope the kitchen, let's go over here. So, I mean, like, I hope that's enough, like frozen foods and stuff. I, I can go to town on some burgers. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I legit eat a hamburger almost every single day. That's just my thing. Don't judge. Don't judge. Relaxing. I just ate some dinner. I still have to clean up this apartment. But I needed a break. I just needed a break. I was thinking about... I'm watching The Doctor. No, not The Doctors. It's called The Good Doctor. And there was this commercial. And there was these two little kids. It was so cute. And there was... Uh, there was an, another father in the commercial and he clearly had a child that wasn't his same ethnicity and it just made me think like representation about you know adoption or fostering or how like a child like normalizing the fact that you know families are not always super traditional mm. hi buddy <laughs> It's the morning time, and that means uh, it's inspection day. I'm excited. I've got to, all right, the agenda for the day. Okay, Lake, all right, buddy, calm down. The agenda for the day is to get out of bed. <laughs> I have to clean. I want to make sure this place is nice and spotless. How do I feel right now? Right now, I feel like a million bucks. Guys, this is every morning. Every morning. This is what I go through. She's going to be here in like six hours. I'm excited. Okay, bye. You ready to get up? Are we ready to get up? Oh my goodness. Goodbye. Ooh, I did it. I got everything clean. I wanted to do all of this last night, but I just got so exhausted. The place looks clean. I'm gonna get those trash bags taken out. Everything's tidy. 
The kitchen looks so much better. Shut that drawer. Look at this. Dishes are done. Everything is spotless. I'm going now to wash my car because I don't know. I feel like I should because, okay, so they have to check like the car seat. I gotta fix this little hood thing. They, they gotta check the car seat, make sure that that is in the car properly and things like that. So I just want everything to be perfect. Call it superstition, call it good luck, call it good energy. I don't really know. Um, I mean, my car is pretty clean all the time. That's another thing. So I see people when I'm driving down the street with their kids putting stickers on their windows and stuff like that. I'm not down for that. So if you have any tips, put it in the comments below. Oh my God, I just got a text message. She just said she's parking right now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I don't know, maybe because it feels like it's like, ah, oh, I've been waiting so long for this. So, oh, God, I'm so nervous. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I prepared. Oh my God, she's literally like parking her car right now. Oh my God. It's done. It's finished. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to try and compose myself here. The home study is officially finished. It's so exciting. I, so my social worker just left the house. <clears throat> we went around the apartment. She had like a three or four page checklist, checked off everything. I didn't have any problems. You guys know that I was like a little bit worried about, do I have enough food in the house type of thing. She was like, oh, that's great. So plenty of food. Uh, I have my disaster kit. She looked at the bedroom, everything. I worked really, really, really hard to make sure that this place was ready for a baby. So here's where I'm at. We did the, the, the last home inspection finished. She's going to take my paperwork to the office. She has to hand that over to another person there and then they have to sign off on everything. And she told me, are you guys ready for this? She told me that I will be certified no later than Monday. Then Monday. And the day I get certified, they could call me with a placement with a child. The day I get certified, it could also be a month, two months. You never, ever, ever know. Um, but because I am open to fostering a newborn, um, it's more likely, they, she said, we get calls for newborns all the time. Um, so I'm just really excited. This feels like, I wouldn't say it feels like a weight off my shoulder. It just feels like a chapter is closed. And now it's time for the new chapter. And that's waiting to get the phone call. Like, hey, we have this child. Will you come pick this child up? So it's, it's just really exciting. And I thought that there was going to be this 10 day period. Apparently there's not anymore. And it's all, it's all done. They have all my clearances. I've, everything's finished and I'm just really grateful. Man, it's crazy to think that by Thanksgiving or this Thanksgiving or Christmas, like I'll most likely be placed with a child. So exciting times. Thank you guys for watching. Next video will be out shortly. Don't forget that I have the interview for Milo Kids um, tomorrow on their website. There is a link for their website in the description. I will put a video out tomorrow all about that uh, process and um, that interview. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell icon and make sure that you click that like button to support this page and this channel and share this with your friends. Don't forget, comment below. I want to know some different uh, tips that you guys have about parenting in general. So thanks everyone. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.